Let's take a look at two very simple ways how we can foreshorten something. So let's just create something like this. Okay. We can create diagonals left and right. And now I would like to find the midpoint here. Now again, because this is perspective drawing, you cannot take this edge and simply divide it by two to find the midpoint, because in perspective, the midpoint is more to the left. We can make use of one very simple trick. We draw from the vanishing point another line to uh, where those two diagonals meet. This is actually now the correct perspective midpoint of this line. And then from here through this point, we create a ray. And where this line touches this line, we actually have another corner there. And actually, then I can continue this trick. And you see that step by step, actually, my rectangle is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. This actually also works not only when this line is in the ground plane. So let's actually try and do this on a wall. Let's try maybe decide this is my rectangle diagonal, diagonal, vanishing point to the intersection of my two diagonals, and then from this corner through this midpoint to the path, vertical down, and point through midpoint, and a vertical down. And you see, like by hand, the same applies to computer graphics. The bigger you draw, the less you make mistakes. The smaller you draw, you always think you don't see mistakes, but the smaller you draw, the easier mistakes actually will be visible. So this is step one, how you can make a foreshortening. So let's imagine, for example, you have to create houses that are each a cube away from each other, or for example, a garden fence. Let me show you another approach that also works. So let's create a 45, 45 square. So you see actually that from this corner to this corner, to the horizontal line, I can draw a way, uh, a ray. This is actually a diagonal. Now from this point, I can draw another line. This is actually a diagonal as well. And then from the left vanishing point through this point, I can draw another line. So you now you have my, my next square. So from this corner to this point, and through this point, there's my next square. I can do the same on the left side. And there. And then there. Oops. This one is not placed really good. There. So here you see that this square is actually foreshortened as well. And if you pay attention to it, you see there's always a perfect diagonal through those squares. Uh, let's maybe 
make one more test. Let's offset this one to the side. So you see actually it works exactly the same way. So front corner to the back corner, to there, through this point, to there, through this point, and so forth. So that's a way how, for example, you do uh, foreshortenings of horizontal or a vertical plane and I showed you two different methods how to do it.